Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. And we are in the middle of the Hene Mines. And, well, guess what else? This may come as a shock to some of you, but... Oh, that's a Thunderbug. Shock. Thunderbug. Get it. Okay, that, that wasn't even intentionally planned. That was just, uh... Me syncing up with past gameplay me uh, even better than either of us could have hoped for. Did I just refer to myself as us? Anyways, uh, the shock. Yes, the shocking thing. Besides me making uh, really cheesy and cliche jokes, but you, you've come to expect that by now. I have no notes for this part. None whatsoever. <laughs> you probably also come to expect that for now. Uh, so we are in the middle of the Hene Mines, this dungeon here. And I don't know where I'm going, I'm just running around looking for stuff. And leveling up. Because we like leveling up. Leveling up is good. Uh, we'll try this path. No, we'll try the other path. This path looks like it'll be more of a dead end dead end usually means treasure. Uh, well, we have half of the dead end to our left. Does that count for anything? Probably not. Well, these enemies are easy anyways. Uh, speaking of easy, and I mentioned in the last part that I don't really plan on using quickenings, and I don't really like the concept of quickenings. Yeah, I've never been the biggest fan of like the whole limit breaks, quickenings, uh, you know, whatever, whatever other forms they come under. I, I don't know. To me, it's it's either they're super powerful. I don't like the super moves that you get to do every once in a while after like so much time or anything. I have this issue in uh, some other games too. In fact, the next game that we're going to play, and uh, well one of the versions of the next game we're going to play has super moves like that in it, and I I don't like that. I don't really use that, because it's not something you really want to be relying on, because either you're fighting normal enemies and you can beat them without the super moves, and the super moves just serve as a uh, way to speed up a battle that you already know you can win. Oh, hey, here's some flint. What in the world? That's a lot of flans. Well, jellies. That's a lot of jellies. They're weak to uh, fight. Look at all these. This is a mess. Alright, Fran, start casting Fyra. Hit everyone. Both here, you can also cast Fyra. Everybody cast Fyra. You know, since they're weak to fire, I should... Look at all this fire just being spewed. Are they still coming in? They are. Look at this. They're still dropping in. Uh, what I really should do is... Um, Bosch is confused. Well, that's the first thing that... Uh, uh, oh, past gameplay me is already on the uh, job of fixing that. Just gotta find the right thing. It's the Nuku Kuku Sand. Or however it's pronounced. Look at all the items and stuff we're getting. Okay, uh, both here is kind of poisoned. We need to fix that too. Uh, we need to fix all of these flans. Oh, they're still dropping in. All I did was press a switch. What, was there like a gate up above that you guys just, uh, that I opened up when I pressed that switch and you guys just all fell through? Uh, Bosch could use the flame tongue here, but, uh, I think with all the fire we got going on, it's, we're killing them quite efficiently. Now we just have one left. Or is it really one left? Or are ten more going to drop on us? Oh my. Yeah, I can imagine how that guy died. Okay, where... After all that chaos, where am I supposed to be going now? Oh yeah, I leveled up too in all of that, but I wasn't going to try swapping people out in the middle of battle. Well, not the middle of that battle anyways. 
Oi. Uh, yeah, just, we're gonna check our gambits. And we're gonna set up a new one. So, ally any poison us. So, basically, no, you, oh, yeah, I'm gonna put that above Asuna. Because I don't really want to use Asuna. Asuna is more expensive to cast than Poisona. So if someone's poisoned, I would rather them be getting cured by Poisona than Asuna. So you're going to want to make sure you have the gambit for that. And you can do that with other, other statuses too. It's just uh, poison seems to be happening a lot around here. So I'm going to set up a gambit for curing poison. Uh, did I put the Thief's Gloves on Vaughn? I don't think I did. Uh, past gameplay me will realize that at some point. But then again, <laughs> it might not matter with how quickly uh, Pinello is just one-shotting everything. I believe I have Pinello set up to cast Fyra if uh, enemies aren't weak to any element, which is why you saw her cast that on those bats. Uh, because Fyra is more or less free to cast now, as long as she's killing things with it. Especially if she's killing multiple things with it. I think we might even make MP gains on some of this stuff. That's how silly uh, Black Magic is in this game. Yeah, my other character's doing three to four hundred per shot. Black Mage? Two to three thousand. That's, that is just a massive difference. I mean, I get that you want to make. Uh, I mean, you want to make the magic stronger than. You want to make the magic stronger than physical attacks. Otherwise, you know, you're just spending MP to do the damage output that a physical attacker could do, and then in that case, uh, why have magic attacks? So I like that the mages are. A bit more powerful, but this seems like silly amounts of power. And if you think it's silly amounts of power now, spoiler uh, post commentary, spoiler alert, you have not seen anything yet. <laughs> you have not. Oh boy. Um, quickenings. Yeah, quickenings, limit breaks, things like that. Yeah, either they feel like. Like, I'm okay using them on battles I already know I can win, and I'm just doing it to speed up the process. But uh, I don't like having to rely on them for uh, to defeat a boss or defeat a certain enemy or anything. Because to me, they are they don't come up reliably. You can't just do them anytime you want, like a basic attack or, or casting Blizzard or something. Uh, so it's not really a consistent strategy you can do. I mean, yeah, you can save them up. Some some games you can't save them up. You have to use them as soon as whatever look gauge is full. These I don't want to look at the magicite. I'm talking about Lusu. quickenings. Of course. Draclaw must be searching for new sources of ore. See, I'm going to try and beat everything in this game without move, quickenings. The rich veins of magicite and Bujeba will be forever beyond their grasp. Oh, that's also not good. Is it her? I wonder if he got jelly to is death. This mist? Yeah, here we go talking about this vague mist again. Oh, it's Mirren. Uh, are you? This stench of humes. Are you a zombie? This stench of power. Are you under mind control? What's wrong with her? Stay away. Power needy Hume. Are you like possessed by something? Uh, Mirren, we came to just talk to you. That is not normal running. Let me guess, we're gonna go after her. Well, of course we are. We came to find her. That was the whole purpose of this dungeon. Hey, a teleport crystal. Well, that's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna save here because I don't trust any of what's coming up. Yeah, now you're really going to start seeing me save on camera a lot more, because I... Like I said, I, I don't really know what's coming up anymore. There is a boss, and I believe it's the next boss, and I know I've mentioned this, but... Uh, 
hopefully we're gonna fight this boss that I'm thinking of and or I should say past gameplay me is thinking of post commentary me knows all stuff between now and the end of the game but uh, past gameplay me I'm trying to commentate mainly from that perspective Oh, uh, discretion is the better part of Valor. Okay, well that's not gonna help me kill the next boss, so whatever. I like the, uh, the way the shield looks on Vaughn there, the whole... I think we got the ice shield on him. Oh, this wasn't the boss I was thinking of. This is, well... Oh, maybe it's the next boss. Okay, it must have been something I watched, because I don't... I don't ever recall fighting this guy, but we're fighting Tiamat, or Tiamat, but I prefer pronouncing it Tiamat, because he's from Thailand. Uh, so this is the third reference to a uh, Final Fantasy 1 boss. And you know what, just for kicks, we're going to show off the summoning here of this Esper Painfire. Uh, Esper Belly we're going to see a little bit what he can do. So when you do that, oh, he's using Reflect. Well, that's annoying. When, uh... Oh, and this is the boss music, one of the boss musics that I enjoy. Uh, so when you summon an Esper, it's just you and the Esper with each other. Your other party members, I don't know, they get cast into the void or something. Uh... So I wonder what else Belius can do, and it turns out you can control him. So that's nice. Let's see what he has. He has Cura, he has Fyra. Well, Time Ad has Reflect on, so we're not going to do that. We got Painfire and Hellfire for techniques. Well, let's use Hellfire. That's like the super move for the Esper. Now, Espers, once you use their super move, I wasn't fully sure if this would happen if I remembered it correctly or not, but uh, once you use their super move, they disappear from battle and the rest of your party members come back. I kind of thought that was the case here, but uh, yeah, we're going to show this off. I want to show off all their super moves too. I may have to do some of this in normal battles, But uh, that, that is one of my goals, is to show off all the espers and their their stuff. Um, did I freeze the game? No, the, the screen just turns white for a little bit. Hellfire does not look like it did much. Lars is dead. Why is Lars dead so quickly? Um, oh, because Pinello's casting fire and this guy has... Oh, that's bad. Okay, Pinello... Um, okay, we need Ash to use Dispel, but before that, we need Penelo to not be casting spells. Penelo, can I just get you out of battle? No, that's not an option. Quickly, go out. Oh, she has fire ready. Nope. Okay, we got it in time. Uh, okay, and time at is... He's going to cast Reflect again. Well, Ash has the uh, Gambit to auto-dispel. Okay, I can get Pinello out of here. Let's get Balthier in, because he has the Heavy Lance and he can uh, slow slow them down. Now, you may be thinking, Late Night Mega, if he's just going to keep casting Reflect on himself and you're not even going to use a Magic user, because I feel uh, using Pinello or Fran for spells uh, is kind of too risky for this. Especially since I'm pretty sure he's not weak to fire. Uh, but I do still want to have Ash doing the Dispel, because as you notice, he's taking time out of his uh, busy attack pattern to re-establish the Reflect, which we're not really doing anything about Reflect. We're not trying to squeak spells in there. I don't think that would work uh, consistently. So I don't want to risk that. And the uh, the bad things that happen if uh, I mistime something or and things get reflected. Yeah, that's not what I want to be dealing with. So 
but he is spending time re-establishing the Reflect, and so if he's taking his time doing that, that's less time that he's spending damaging us. So I still feel that the Dispel Gambit is uh, still a pretty good use here. Yeah, notice all this time that he's not attacking me and we're just sitting here pounding on him. Of course he's in low HP mode, which means he just got double defense that we can't do anything about, because I really dislike that design. Let's get uh, Bosch in now that he has slow on, because Bosch can hit a little bit harder. Well, maybe. Disable Ga. Oh, we don't mean that happening. Uh, Bosch is disabled. Can we fix that? Okay, we'll fix that by... Yeah, by Bosch. We'll fix it by switching him out. I believe Ref or Asuna would fix that too, but we're so close to the end of this battle. Unless he does another disable gun. And I do like that Timat was using Arrow, because he was kind of a uh, wind elemental... Well, uh, yeah, not kind of. He is a wind elemental uh, archfiend from the first Final Fantasy game. So that's another nice reference. So three out of the four... Elemental Fiends from Final Fantasy 1 have been referenced now. We just need Kraken. Van is tossing his bag of... Did he just drink out of a bag? Who drinks out of a bag? That's weird. Why is he swinging a bag around? He wasn't using a bag as a weapon. He's not to my knowledge. A cool sword there, Larsa. Okay, we beat time out. And now Mirren just decides to come back to us. And oh, she had a piece of nethesite. Well, manufactured nethesite. Oh, so she was or is being possessed by some demon thing. Well, that's not good. But apparently it left her now. That thing inside her, what was it? It was Golbaz. No, wait, that that's probably not Is it true. You? Alright, so please explain game. When the Hume soldiers came to the wood, the village took small heed of them. So long as the wood herself is safe from harm, the Viera give little care to goings on beyond her. Again with all this talk about me, the wood. An the wood this, the wood that. You people need to I get had out to more. discover why they had come. So you came here hoping to find something out and got yourself caught. You're as foolhardy as your sister. Oh, they're sisters. They took me then, and set close beside me a stone. They said its mist would be drawn into me, that the Viera well suited this end. I saw the light coming from the stone, and then... We have seen this. On Leviathan, the mist released from the Dawn Shard drove me too into such a rage. She was taken not by the Dawn Shard. Manufactured Nethesite. Called it. Then that means... Penella, the stone I gave you. Do you still carry it with but you? But still, what was that demon sure. thing? I it's mean, right here. that didn't try to possess <laughs> Fran on the uh, Leviathan. This is a or thing did more it? dangerous again than I had imagined. I should never have given it to you. Forgive me, I, I didn't know. I'd always thought of it as sort of a good luck charm. And even if it is dangerous, on Leviathan it kept us safe. Can we be any more cheesy right now? It's a good there luck charm. There is a charm. place for all things, even dangerous such as this. I hope you're right about that.
and instant teleport back to uh, the Viera village. I'm not going to try and pronounce its name. I heard the woods whispers. Game hasn't voice acted it for me yet. Take it. Lente's tear is a permission. Pass through the wood and leave. Two other places go. Don't just give us that in the first place. That cannot be all. That's all we need. That's I what we came for. I saw it when I left the village. Ivalice is changing. Viera don't care. How can the Viera stand and do nothing at all? Because they live in the wood and breathe Ivalice the wood and that's it. Ivalice is for the humes. The wood alone is for us. See. But that is wrong. How can we just hide here in the trees? I don't want to share the wood. When all the world outside is on the move. I too wish to live freely. To leave this wood. Do not do this. You must remain away from the humes. Why? Stay with the wood. Why are the humes so dangerous? With the wood. This is your way. But Fran, my sister... I am no longer of you. I have discarded wood and village. I won my freedom. Yet my past has been cut away forever. No longer can my ears hear the green word. This solitude you want, Mieren? Sister. No, Mieren. Only one sister remains to you now. You must forget my Wait, existence. Why? You don't have to stop being sisters just because one of you isn't living in the wood. I am sorry That's to make absurd. you do this. She goes against the laws of the wood. I threw down these laws. It is better oh my that gosh, I do this. the wood, the wood, the wood. Better I than one who must uphold right. these laws herself. Drinking game challenge for everyone. Uh, everyone who's old enough, I do not condone underage drinking on this channel. Take a drink every time someone mentions the wood in this uh, part. I have a request. Listen to the woods voice for me. Okay, on second I thought, fear, don't do that game. You'll I probably be in the hates. hospital by the end of this part. The wood longs for you, for the child gone from under her boughs. A pleasant lie, that. Be cautious. I... The wood is jealous of the humes who have taken you. I am as them now. Am I not? Okay, I don't understand the whole concept of this Goodbye, wood thing. Sister. I'm not going to pretend to. I'm just going to keep making fun of it. The wood is jealous of the humes, but doesn't want to take Fran back by communicating with her, so she's lost touch of communicating with the wood, and now the wood is lying through the other girl to tell Fran lies. But somehow Fran knows that's a lie, even though she can't really communicate with the wood even anymore. Even though she did communicate with the wood when we first came here, and she found out that Mirren wasn't here, but couldn't communicate enough to find out where Mirren was. Yeah, I'm confused. Let's, uh, let's just buy stuff. Do I want that? I mean, I don't have the license for it. I'm... I'm kind of, I'm quite satisfied with the guns for Ash and the silent shot. So I'll meet you guys next time.